Extension case. It's called a revision rotator cuff repair. Revision rotator cuff repair. Right shoulder. The patient had surgery done in the past. Uh, and this is what we have. Right shoulder. Patient lying on the side, looking away from me. Monitor. Monitor right there. Ball. Socket joint, also known as the glenohumeral joint. There's the ball. It looks gorgeous. It looks like a cue ball or like a pearl. That's the way it's supposed to look. And then we look down. A little bit of degeneration right there on the center of the glenoid, but nothing too bad. And then we look. Then I move like this. And I look up at the rotator cuff. Rotator cuff is right there. And as you can see, there's a tear and the old sutures. This is a really interesting uh, view because you can actually see the old sutures right there. The knots are right there. The sutures are right there. As you can see, the knots did not pull out of the bone. Uh, what, what, what happens is the tendon gets ripped away from the sutures. The tendon gets ripped away from the sutures. So that ends up compromising the edge of, of the rotator cuff. So that's what we're doing today. Number one, remove these suture knots. Let's see if we can do it without, without damaging the bone. Good. Actually, let me go back. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to start to, I'm starting to think about my repair strategy. Repair strategy, that means where I'm going to be putting anchors, how I'm going to be bringing the, the tendon back. So you see what I'm noticing over here is a lot of the tendon actually fell posteriorly. That means I'm going to be pulling it anteriorly. So if I want to pull it anteriorly, I'm going to have to create a candle on the front and I'm going to create another viewing portal. So if you look down here, this is how a portal is made. I think I already have a, already have a, a needle in there. Uh, the needle uh, is my trajectory. I made a little incision on the skin and then I, and then I just spread a little bit. Let me go ahead and can you remove that the needle, please? Remove the needle. I already, I follow my needle trajectory. Boom. I go in there. I know that's, I spread the tissue, any little nerves or whatever moved out of the way. And then, and then once again, I follow my trajectory in, boom, go like this. And now you see, now I have that in. Now I put that metal tube in there. It's actually called a cannula. And now I can actually do a little switcheroo. And watch what I do. I take my camera from here, from this viewing portal, which is uh, not in the ideal spot. And now I move it over here. And what I can do now is, now I have a better view of my tear. Now, so now I'm thinking about how am I going to repair this tendon. So then I start thinking about, once again, another, another portal. But I'm going to create another portal right here so that I can grab this tendon and pull it that way. Thank you. to uh, close down this rotator cuff tear. I put a striker speed anchor in the back to, to uh, fixate or anchor down the posterior aspect of the rotator cuff. And then we move way to the front, way to the front. And there's actually another speed anchor right there. You can see another speed anchor holding the anterior aspect of the rotator cuff. I put a little, a little clinch loop right there just to take down a dog gear. And now what I'm doing now, is uh, doing what's called a suture bridge technique where I actually use the sutures, watch this, I use the sutures themselves to push or to bring down the, the most lateral edge of the rotator cuff. You see how it does that? And I've actually created little uh, holes in the, in, or channels, micro uh, fracture type channels that you can see there, there that, were, that will bring in blood. So this is the, one of the, almost the last step. I'll be going like this. One more time, these sutures are being used to actually compress the lateral edge of the rotator cuff up against a bleeding bone. And it will be held with a Smith & Nephew multi-fix type anchor. Why don't we go ahead and start 
uh, hitting it right there. Let's go ahead and pick. It's a, uh, like a self-drilling type of anchor. And uh, pretty soon you'll see some threads. There's a the thread. Once the threads hit the edge of the bone, which I will in a second, then I screw it in. Stop right there. Good. And before I screw it in to do the final fixation of this anchor that just pulled in some sutures, I tension my suture like this. We do a little tensioning. Everything has to be tight because I have to, or my goal is to compress the edge of this tendon, this rotator cuff tendon. I have to compress that edge right there onto the bleeding bone. So I'll explain that in just a second. Let me do the final cutting of these sutures here. Boom, boom, this is just a little cutter, it's like a fingernail cutter. Great, gorgeous. Now I'm gonna show you what I've done so far. Okay, so wow, finally. You can see that there's good compression at the edge. You can see how it's puckered right there. That's because I've, I'm compressing it very tightly up against the bleeding bone. There's my channels. Okay, so the next step is to lay down a graft, a flat sheet uh, on here to add a little bit more thickness to this damaged tendon. Once again, it's Dr. Moore. I'm doing a revision rotator cuff repair. And this sheet of tendon that I'm going to add on there it's, uh, think about it like uh, fixing your jeans. If you have a hole in your jeans and the jeans are too damaged, what do you do? You don't actually sew the edges of the jeans together. You actually put a, a patch. I'll just show you the regenerative graft. I just finished doing it. I'm just uh, smoothing out or feathering the edges, like I said. This is like a, a, a patch on your Levi's or on your jeans right here. There's a patch. You can see the blue edge. Uh, I'm going to just uh, secure the edges a little bit better, but this was a revision rotator cuff repair. I attached this uh, collagen graft to thicken up the damaged tent, and what will happen over time is there will be a vascularization of this, of this uh, patch and it will become part of the tendon. So once again, Dr. Moore showing you a revision rotator cuff repair, a very complex case. Uh, which requires a lot of resources. Why don't you show this over here, please? Look at the resources that we're talking about. Multiple, multiple, multiple anchors, all different types. Smith & Nippy multi-fix viral row anchors, striker speed, triple loaded tape anchors, Q-fix, Smith & Q-fix anchors for the medial row. Um, those are all the anchors. And just uh, FYI, each anchor is probably about $450, $500. Graph is thousands of dollars, a lot of resources and a lot of expertise, um, a lot of uh, human power required to do revision of here at repair, including our uh, type of anesthesia and the nerve block. So once again, Dr. Mora, uh, just showing you uh, Mora, cutting edge orthopedic surgery. Thank you very much.